the new 2K NBA video game hit the shelves this week and some of us here at 101 are excited to play the newest version. But as usual, the game sparked a heated debate about the best sports related video games of all time. I would now like to welcome into the studio our resident gaming experts who will shed some light on their opinions on the best video games since the year 2000. So we'll start with the best from the first decade. 2K obviously stands for 2000, so it came out in 1999. Let's talk about which one is the best from the years 2000 to 2010. Chris, what I'm do you going think? to go like around like 2004, 2000. <clears throat> uh, excuse me, 2003. Uh, NBA Street Volume Two, um, because essentially it's just straight up three on three basketball with all the favorite superstars: Michael Jordan, Bill Russell, Larry Bird, Dominique Wilkins plus all those players that just came in the 03 draft. And what makes it even more important to me is the hip hop element that was a part of it. You Ooh. had Nelly, you had MC, <laughs> uh, you had um, MC Styles, you had Black Sheep, kind of like bring that all together, being a part of that new um, era of music. Keep in mind, Outkast are coming up uh, coming up in this era as well. So it's kind of like- Are you talking about Guitar Hero or NBA? No, I'm, I'm, ta <laughs> I'm talking about basketball because hip hop and okay. basketball and R&B, they correlate together. Okay. So it actually like worked well with each other. So that's one of my- Well, you issues. come from the court yeah. and I'm coming from the square circle I'm talking uh, about WWE here comes the pain also 2003 <laughs> so that must have been a great year for nah, video that was a good games. game <laughs> and I'm talking about, as a wrestling fan this game was everything I mean I I got off the school bus and I just Hopped downstairs and I started throwing this bad boy on. If I if I was ticked off that I got a bad grade on something, I just yeah. unleash it. You had Brock Lesnar on the come up, The Undertaker, mm -hmm. Stone Cold Steve Austin, The Rock. Uh, you could even play as like the referee sometimes. Yep. And Kane. one thing, Kane. Yeah. One thing I loved about the game is that you could take it anywhere. It didn't have to be the ring. You could take it backstage. You could take it onto the street. Mm -hmm. And it's so ahead of its time for 2003 and its ability to just take the game anywhere and be just a, a palatable wrestling. Game. Yeah, pretty much set the present of what WWE games are right now, because 2K has the rights to those, like literally a WWE It's even better than came. the 2K games right now. WWE, here comes the pain, to set the precedent for not only WWE video games, but interaction between sports and virtual reality and first person game. Mm, yeah, I'm gonna absolutely. say in 2003, I was in the first grade, I think. So let's move on to a little bit more recent <laughs> time. <laughs> What is the best video game in the second decade we're going from 2010 to around now? Well, I'm going to go with the most recent one before NBA 2K18, NBA 2K17. And before hmm. this past game, it had the smoothest game engine, I think, out of any gaming, sports game at least. And yep. I'm talking about FIFA as well. I know it's a heated debate. Ooh. But the career mode was amazing <laughs> in 2K17. And the one in 18, I played it a little bit. It's kind of trashy. And that's where you get get the line between what's good as a first player yeah. person uh, game or not. And my team is always on the come up. You're able to draft any player you want, sign them to a contract. You can have LeBron James and the newly signed Dwayne Wade and Melo all on the same team. And it's very addictive. It's yeah. one of the few games that I'll actually spend more money on. 2K17 was a great wow. game. I wish that they actually had Hoodie Melo on that oh, roster. Because Hoodie Melo will probably Mello. win the championship. Hoodie Melo for the win. But anyway, <laughs> um, to me, I want to go back a little bit. I want to say with the 2K theme, I'm going to go with 2K11 because it kind of set the precedent of what you're talking about, what 2K17 did. You have the Jordan Challenge where you can literally play as Michael oh Jordan gosh. doing all these different kinds of challenges. Plus, um, my player was like on the come up, but basically you're part of like a draft combine. And you literally are earning your way, you're earning your spot on the way. You like, it's not really much given to you because that's my one little niche about 2K17. You can always like buy like credit and stuff and you can really just speed up, speed your way well, you the mentioned process. the Jordan Challenge, but on top of that, you also have, stemming from that, the all-teams. You have the all-time teams. You can yep. play as the classic Celtics, Bulls, and Lakers all in one game. It's just and that was the first time they actually did that. So that kind of set that present. Now, you look at 2K17 and 2K18, they're like all-time teams for like pretty much every franchise well, right Well, you now. guys enjoy playing your video games this weekend. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now that we've spent enough time procrastinating on our homework with video games, I think it's time to go back to procrastinating with our favorite sports. When we come back, our MLS expert, Matt Holzoffel, who did his homework this week, tells us about the best cities for MLS expansion.